Hello and welcome to our lesson on 3D shapes. In this lesson we're going to describe the properties of a 3D shape. We begin with this triangular prism and it is a prism because you can see the cross section which is this face here is repeated throughout the entire shape. So imagine if you were to take a slice along any of these lines you will still have the same cross section facing you at the front. So yes this shape is a prism. A face is an individual surface on the shape and you can see you have one face at the front, another one here, but there are also some faces that you can't see, which is the back, so that is three, the left hand side which is four, and the bottom which is five. So it has five faces. An edge is a line which connects vertices together. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. We have another one here that we can't see because it is hidden. Seven, eight, and nine. So a triangular prism has nine edges. Vertices is a mathematical name for corners and one corner is called a vertex. So vertex is the singular and the vertices is the plural. So we have one, two, three at the front, four, five, plus the one that you can't see at the back, which is six. So these are the properties of a triangular prism. Let's have a look at a cuboid. A cuboid is special because it has multiple cross sections depending on your perspective. So in this face it could be the cross section. So imagine if you cut it anywhere along these lines, you would see the same cross section. This face could also be the cross section. Imagine if you cut it anywhere along these lines. And this face could also be the cross section. If you cut it along any of these lines, you will still see the same rectangle. So yes, a cuboid is a prism. To count the number of faces, it's a good idea to include the hidden edges. So the number of faces, we have one on the left, two on the right, three on the bottom, four on the top, five on the front, and six on the back. To count the number of edges, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We also need to include the hidden edges, 10, 11, and 12. And the number of vertices, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, the hidden edges, 8. Do you want to describe the properties of the three remaining solids? by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So the semicircular prism, it is a prism because you can see the semicircle is repeated throughout the shape and the edges which connect the two cross sections are parallel. So yes, it is a prism. It has one face at the front, one on the bottom, one on the back, and then another face curved around on the top. So that is four faces. It has one, two, three, four, five, and six edges. And one, two, three, four vertices. For the square base pyramid, it is not a prism because no cross section is repeated. Instead, this is called a convergent solid. Convergent because it converges on this point at the top. So no, it is not a prism. It has one face on the bottom, two at the back, three on the right, four on the front, and five on the left. So five faces in total. And you can see it has one, two, three, four edges on the base, five, six, seven, and eight.
in total. And you can see it has five vertices. And finally, yes, this shape is a prism because this is the cross section. And you can see it is repeated throughout the shape in this direction. So the back is congruent to the front. So yes, it is a prism. In terms of faces, it has one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the left, one at the right, one at the front and one at the back. So six faces in total. And edges, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And vertices, it has got four at the front and four at the back, which is eight. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.